Hey, it's Random Code here, and today in this video, I'm gonna showcase my MVP, so minimal viable product of my Flappy Birds game in JavaFX. And I'm then gonna showcase some of the changes I made to make it easier for me to port this game to Android. So, let's have a look at the game. So that is the MVP in JavaFX of my Flappy Birds game. We have the basic movement of our bird. We then have these obstacles and we have a point counter at the top. And some of the things I've changed since last time I showcased the game is that I actually moved quite a bit of the basic game logic, like the bird movement and the creating of the obstacles outside of my controller, because it is actually better that we inside the controller, which is kind of like the JavaFX part of the program, have as little Java present because now, for example, let's have a look at the update function, which is called every frame. Instead of doing all the calculations in here of the bird and moving a bird, I now simply have a bird component, then simply call move bird, then how much you need to move it. And doing it this way makes it quite a bit easier when in the future, for example, I want to move this game to an Android platform. I can then take all my plain Java, which have nothing to do with JavaFX, and use some kind of different library. For example, I plan to use something called libgtx. It's a game library I can also use with Android, inside Android Studio and the basic Android setup. And because I'm not using JavaFX, it makes this transition, this porting from plain Java FX to Android and libgtx quite a bit easier because the Java is the same, but just how like the graphics is handled from either JavaFX or LibGDX, for example, is a bit different. But because we create these basic components that just move things, some inputs based on information from the JavaFX, it's actually ends up being not easy, but easier at least to port from one library like JavaFX to something else. And in general, that's actually a pretty good way of constructing your program that we are not dependent on the JavaFX to play the game, but only on JavaFX to actually showcase and on basic graphics. So now I have this basic MVP. I have then kind of separated the basic game logic into their own classes, like a bird class, collision handler, obstacles handler, and kind of separate all this logic from the JavaFX. We have these basic functionalities, we have our MVP, and I think it's going to be more or less it for now regarding this Flappy Bird JavaFX project. And as mentioned quite a few times now, the next step or the next plan is to then create a similar, not an exact copy of this game inside Android Studios with libgtx, which is a game library that can be used with Java. And that's going to be interesting to see how easy it is to support and actually see if it looks similar and like, what does this mean? Just learning from the experience of changing from one framework, more or less. I don't know if we can call JavaFX a framework, not really, but changing from one library to another. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase of my MVP in JavaFX of my Flappy Bird game, please leave a like and subscribe. And I definitely wish all of you a wonderful 